Let's use this mechanism to create a new toy and we'll put a hammer on one end and have it try to hit something and it just keeps missing every time. So I'll go to select and I'll begin with create part in place. The default green check mark and I'll call this part slider. And I'll simply draw a couple of rectangles on the YZ reference plane, look at it square on. And I'd like to create this at the center here. I'll just create a couple of rectangles. Let's make this 110 tab 50. And I'll create another rectangle at the center here. Let's make this one 90 tab 85. I'll spin this around. I'll extrude this out 10. And I'll create a pin on the back with the circle command on this face, F3 to lock to the face. I'll just go right in the center here. Let's look at this square on so it's easier to see. Create a pin at the center. We'll make that five. Select the region. And let's push that out 10. I'll close and return. Come up here to tangent, and I like this cylinder to be tangent to this face. And then we'll mate this face with this face and fit the view. And let's select and take a look at what we have. Now I'm ready to go back. I'm going to flip this over. Flip this upside down. I'm going to go back here to the link 01. And I'm going to extend this piece right at the end here, this face right here. Grab the arrow, push that out. Let's push that out 20. And I'll add a rectangle on the center, just lock to that face. I'll just use the center of that circle. Let's create a rectangle that's 20 wide, tab by 120. Spin that around. And I'm going to go to extrude, chain, and identify that face and push that out, 10. And let's add a circle on these ends that represent the hammer head. I'll go to the trim button. and Make sure to use the trim, the lock has to be on. Let's run through there, trim that out. I'll spin this around and extrude that out 10. Now let's take a look at what we've got. I'll close and return and run. And to make this look a little more realistic, let's just open this part again. Now we'll go to sketching and Insert image and add a face here. Browse. We'll go out to our class files folder and go to a JPEG called Ouch. And I'll just double click on that. Accept. Lock to this face. And I'll just come down here and place the image. Just select. Go to my options. Turn off the border. Check OK. And let's see what that looks like. I need to right mouse click, go to show all components, turn on my sketches, and let's run that and see. I can turn those other sketches off later. <laughs>